Guys, the chickens here bringing you another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we're all sweaty because we just got back from the gym. But more importantly, we have a very uh, interesting trick for you guys to use on your warship space. So let's head on over. Big surprise, surprise. surprise. We're, not, we're not doing a video on the main base. We're doing a video on warship. So here's where the chickens at. Now, I hit a bit of a wall today. And I've been finding it extremely hard to get to grind and get chests and upgrade things. So here's a, a trick for you guys. Now, it involves engine rooms. So right here, I can unlock this engine room. And here's the trick for you. The way the matchmaking is weighted, it, by weighted I mean the things that you upgrade, your tech level goes up, right? So your tech level is your weight. Now, you can unlock the engine room, like we're going to do right now. And what this essentially does, I don't know why that shows up every time. What this essentially does, now see, we still have to place it, so hold, bear with me. So, once we unlock that engine room, we unlock everything. We unlock all this stuff here that we can, uh, as soon as we unlock with... Um, Ooh, wow, 100 keys, 4 rock launchers, that's going to be huge. Um, now we have access to all of this stuff, and without placing this engine room, we aren't weighted uh, as a uh, 6 engine room base. But now we have access to all the good stuff that 6 engine room bases have. Now, this is uh, this has been confirmed, so let's see. Let's just see if the chicken is correct here, or if we're way off in this one, guys. So, uh, I'm going to go with Rifle Zuka Medic. And instead of the fourth rifle, I'm actually going to switch off to both Pioneers. And then we're going to go with four Zookas in the back for that extra damage. Now, I might switch up second uh, wind with Ice Shield, depending on how some of the layouts are going to look. But we'll get to that in just a moment, guys. So here we go. So you see right here, five engine room base versus our uh, six, even though we don't have it placed yet, right? But then we, we still have all the upgrades and bonuses from that. So let's go up the... Let's go up this side. I'm just going to spam all the troops down right here because there's nothing really in range on the beach. And we are going to make our way up this right-hand side. Now, we do have to be careful with these second winners. You see, I did spam one there because they don't follow the landing uh, the landing flags on your, uh, like, as, as soon as you put the troops down. So it's helpful to put out a second win like that because, oh my god, we lost Caban already. Because um, then they're going to go off to the other side and they're going to just work as a distraction, which is all I wanted them to do right there. Um, okay, let's go, let's go, um, let's take this shock launcher down, I think, uh, and then let's shock over here, and then let's get a med kit going here, and then we're gonna go one, two, now it's always beneficial to, to take down an engine room as quickly as you can, not only to get the engine rooms down, because that's the point of the battle, but you also get a lot of GBE from them, uh, so we're gonna go like that, and like that, and now we have all the shock launchers down, these doom cannons are absolutely destroying us though, so I don't think this attack is gonna go very far, um, those mortars are gonna hurt our Zookas. Let's just get everyone kind of coagulated up onto this engine room here. Oh man, that mortar was painful. Jesus. Uh, okay, we didn't take down that shock launcher somehow. We might actually still get this second engine room here, but it's gonna be extremely close, and I don't know how we did it. I think those critters saved us there. Whew! Okay, so somehow we managed to do that. I'm gonna take down this stupid shock launcher, because that got in our way, and we ended up losing. So, I mean, it's not a surefire way that means you're going to win every battle just because you're not placing down your engine rooms, but um, it definitely helps a little bit. It definitely helps a little bit. So, this guy's going to crush us, but that's okay. So, let's um, let's see what else we got here in Mr. Tech Tree. So, I don't think I've done any other upgrades uh, since we last spoke. Uh, actually, did, I, I did something minor. I think I upgraded... Uh, well, I up, un unlocked the engine room, obviously, which was the biggest thing. Oh, I think I upgraded shock mines. And boom mines. I did that as well. Um, just to have, I don't know, just to have a couple extra mines uh, floating around. So let's um, let's try that again. But this time let's sacrifice a boat of Zookas for the Cryoneers. Because it felt like we were a little bit lacking in damage there. Um, and I might actually bring a single boat of medics. We're going to try something like this. And then let's go let's go back with the Ice Shield too. I think that's going to help. I do have every hero unlocked now. Uh, I used Everspark a little bit. I, I find Kavan is the most useful. That's also the only thing I'm getting hit with as well. Um, okay, this guy's taking quite a long time to, uh, to get his battle down. But we can take a, a quick peek at the, uh, at the global leaderboard here. Um, we can visit this guy's warship and see what he's got. So a lot of Sky Shields. This base looks crazy. Like, how would you even go about doing this? Uh, I saw another one before. It's basically the same thing, but he had the shock launcher and the microwaver switched. And it just looked terrifying. I mean, like, how do you even get through that with uh, with these warships? Too? I'm not 100% sure. Opponents finished the tagging battle again. Yeah, so we, we've gone back quite a ways, guys. I got very close to, to rank 20, but uh, 
doesn't look like it's gonna happen for this video maybe tomorrow that seems to be how it works we have one video where we do bad and then the next video we're ranking up so it kind of levels out it kind of levels out you just got to play it a little bit more all right the chicken versus daniel hmm one two three four five five engine rooms okay now we're only really gonna get the benefit of unlocking the sixth engine room once we like upgrade the stuff so we still have to win these battles right now um and get uh and get our chests going so what do we see here chicken what do we see uh, let's just go. There's mortars there. It's basically it's it's pretty evenly spread out. This is actually a really good base. Uh, let's just go this way, I think, because one, two, three, four, and then Mr. Kavon. Uh, and then what are we gonna focus on here? Let's go one, two barrages onto that shock launcher. We'll go with an early artillery right there. Now the one of those cryoners went way out there, which is not what we wanted. So let's go with an ice shield there just to protect some of those cryos. Uh, I'm gonna get a delayed shock going right about there. That should save us from those machine guns and those mortars. Uh, we'll get a medkit going here and here just so those mortars don't absolutely destroy us, uh, which they're very close to doing. That's gonna be a really nice ice shield as Kavon walks right in the center of all of our troops. Uh, so we are gonna get these two engine rooms for sure. So now we just have to focus on uh, how we're gonna come out of this here. And those rocket launchers, I'm not too worried about, but. Um, the mortars in that in that shock launcher, uh, I definitely am. So we're gonna try to now. What I probably should have done is save one of those ice shields because I could really use one right about now. Um, let's go right there with another shock on that mortar in that uh, shock launcher. Now, if we can get a third engine room down, I think I'm gonna call that a victory here, guys. Uh, okay. Oh man, these mortars are killing us. Uh, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and shock this mortar. The, both these two mortars here. And, yeah, you see those rock launchers just do nothing for damage. I mean, they're almost not even enough to take down those Zookas. So let's just flare everybody up onto this engine room. Let's get an artillery right there, because I think this is kind of going to be a suicide uh, Hail Mary toss right here. If we do take down the rock launcher and the shock launcher, that's just going to be a little bit of a bonus. Um, I don't know how much further we're going to get. You know, if we had a little bit more troops, we actually probably could have made a run at taking down his entire base, but... Uh, Maybe second wind would have been better here. I don't know. I feel like we got a lot of value out of that ice shield uh, initially, so it's hard to say, guys. It's hard to say. I'm going to take down uh, those sh shock mines. Uh, so I'm, I'm hoping that Daniel's done here. So now we're just simply going for percentage, uh, which we're not going to get a ton of. Um, we did get close to that uh, fourth engine room, but that's not going to be it, guys. Now, here's another trick. I'm not going to retreat. I'm just going to let my medics die. Because as soon as I retreat, then it tells him that I retreated, right? If they, if I just die, it doesn't say that my attack stopped. Because I don't know if his attack stopped right now either. Okay, so he's still going. Uh-oh. He might be in for some trouble here, guys. Oh, man. I hate that. I hate when I go to spectate, and it's right on the fence, and then he's right at the engine room with, like, 1% health left. So that's going to be another loss. Ah, but, uh, you know... The trick still stands with the engine room. I mean, the only problem we're having now is that we... we I don't know, man. It's like, the as, as the days go on, it gets harder to stay at your rank because everyone else is catching up and upgrading to it. But I just feel like... Like, the last couple of videos, I don't think I've even won, like, a match. Like, this, this is getting kind of bad here. Uh, okay, so let's go... Now, everyone's going to say, Chicken, why aren't you using heavy and Zookas? Uh, that is because my heavies and Zookas are not... Uh, or my heavies are not upgraded, basically, at all. Uh, they're still at level two So let's come let's come at this one from this angle one two three four one two three four come on And let's go with a nice uh, bucket of critters right about here And let's go one two one two I'm gonna take down those doom cannons just because they are so deadly to the riflemen uh, We don't want to face any of those if we don't have to let's go with a nice early ice shield there now We are gonna save our second ice shield. I think for uh, as we progress a little bit further. I'm gonna use critters instead to hopefully draw a, a couple hits from that shock launcher off of us. Um, okay, now as soon as Kavon starts walking this th this way, then we're gonna hit that second ice shield. Come on, come on, get in a good spot, please. The good doctor not being so good, guys. There we go, that's where I wanted you. Okay, so Dr. Caveman coming up front. Now we're gonna go, that's why I called him, by the way, is Dr. Caveman. That was the chicken's uh, original nickname for Dr. Kavon. Didn't catch on as well as I thought, but uh, either way. Okay, so now let's go. Let's go with another ice shield right now, I think. Uh, that should protect us a little bit from that Doom Cannon. The thing about the Doom Cannons and the ice shield is um, it shoots so slowly, so you know if you get a good ice shield on it, you can save like 20 or 30 troops or something ridiculous. Um, okay, so now 
we want to save our shocks for these mortars. Come on. Uh, okay, let's let's go right about here. And uh, how do we want to do this? Come on, Zookas, join the battle over here. Join the battle. Uh, okay, so we do have Kavon. We do have an ice shield in position. So I'm going to go like this. Opponent has retreated, so we're already guaranteed to win this one. Uh, which is a nice feeling. It's nice. I like when that happens. Let's go with the let's go with the thirty or a thirty gunboat energy ice shield. But we want to get hundred percent in this base, guys. We want to get hundred percent. So let's let's end this with a with a good battle here. Now I like how spread out my zukas are because it kind of uh, it, it defends them from splash damage a little bit. We do have that one lone rifleman in the front. Now if we can get this machine gun down, we might actually have a chance at soloing this base. Soloing that's probably not the right word. Um, so now we have one flamethrower and one cannon. That Cryonier was, that just saved the day. Just walking up and blasting that cannon and taking the heat from that flamethrower. That's the MVP of the battle right there, guys. That Cryonier at the very end. And look at this. We were able to get down all five of his engine rooms. Um, he kind of, he didn't do very well against us. So I'm interested to see what uh, what his attack was. But uh, boom. Fifth engine room goes down. Back, back, back. And there we go. So plus one uh, star. Uh, we need a couple more, but uh, hey, we're moving in the right direction now, guys. We're moving in the right direction. I just want to see what he attacked us with. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to let me know down below in the comments if you found uh, that placing that extra engine room hurt you or helped you. Uh, wow, look how spread out my base is now. I didn't even realize that, that it actually expands like that. Uh, so we got we got some we got some stuff to do. We got some work to do, guys. So guys, as always, thanks so much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. We're going to bring you everything uh, covering warships, updates, sneak peeks, all that good stuff. Thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Checking out.